Prince Harry's former biographer has rubbished his claim that no one was there to provide a support structure on his return from military service. Harry made the statement in his new Netflix Heart of Invisitis documentary that aired for the first time last week. The five-part series follows several athletes as they train for last year's Invictus Games, started by Harry in 2014 for wounded or injured service members. In it Harry also opens up about his mental health issues, saying that he didn't have a support structure, network or expert advice to help him with them after he returned from active military duty. Now his former biographer Angela Levin has disputed his claims in a piece she has written for Sky News. The author and journalist, who wrote Harry, Conversations with the Prince which was published in 2018, said, Prince Harry's me 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 obsession has spoiled much of the impact of the new Netflix docuseries The Heart of Invictus. Prince Harry tipped to receive text or email from William and King Charles in 2017, while writing his biography, Angela joined him at a Help for Heroes Center and said he struck the right chord with the veterans. But, she says, in the new documentary he appears aloof and takes opportunities to attack his family and moan about how hard his life has been when his current setup in Montecito is a far cry from the ex-service personnel featured. She said, seemingly oblivious to this chasm in lived experience, Harry resented that no one in his family provided a support structure to help him with his mental health issues after he returned from active military duty. He also claimed that his family didn't talk about his mother, Princess Diana, after her fatal car crash in Paris, a cone of silence that he believes was the start of his problems. Some of the allegations he made contradicted his own previous remarks. Back in 2017 Harry told me how William had tried hard to persuade him to get help for his declining mental health. But, he smiled, you don't want to listen to your older brother do you? Angela added King Charles was also on hand to provide love and support. Don't miss! Meghan Markle would have been taught crucial royal lesson by Princess Diana, insight, Meghan Markle won't join Prince Harry on his UK trip for very relatable reason. Report, Harry and Meghan warn success is transitory as new Netflix stock flops, reveal, she said, both he and William were also there for Harry when he was flown back from Afghanistan, with the older brother stepping in when he noticed that his sibling didn't want to answer any more questions at a press conference back on home soil. Nor should one forget that the Heads Together campaign spearheaded by William, Catherine and Harry in 2017 talked openly about the stigma of mental health. Prince Harry will be in Britain on Thursday, September 7 for the Wellchild Awards, a day before the Windsors join the nation to mark 12 months since Queen Elizabeth II died. After his trip to the UK Harry will then travel to Germany for the Invictus Games where Meghan will join him. Their appearance at the Invictus closing ceremony on September 16 will be their first public appearance together since May. Thank you.